I know other governors, when you visit Tatu, you'll get the vision. If you understand and learn from them how they did it, they've done it in several countries, uh, in West Africa, in Southern Africa, and I think uh, in Central Africa as well. I, I have learned a lot, and I hope that all of us will take this opportunity to learn and build a relationship where they can help us. I think the other thing I should mention is that uh, many of us think that when we set up the infrastructure, the investors will just come. From what I have learned from the Tattoo team, it takes a lot of work of roadshows, investment roadshows, persuading people to come and spend four billion, 10 billion of their money um, in your area. Now, if you're in Nairobi or in Machakos, it's a lot easier because you're in the capital city. But for those of us who are out of the main capital city, I think Tattoo is a fantastic example of uh, how to actualize the dream of industrializing Kenya and uh, creating jobs, uh, providing markets for our farmers, and being able to also grow our exports and uh, increase our FDIs. So for us to envision and see and learn um, how to set up an industrial park, because many of us uh, will do the aggregation centers, but we will also go into other areas, uh, facilitate investors for manufacturing, for other agro-processing, for medicine manufacturing and all that, we would need to see how all that ties together. And since we were going to be here anyway, we agreed that um, we start with Tatu, we look at um, the present, we, we listen to the presentation, uh, understand the concept, the overall concept around industrial parks, and then go to Twiga, see one factory, and then two are Tatu to see actually how much they have done.